I have, I'm the biggest family person. Um, they are my glue and nope. <laughs> I said no. Mm -hmm. to my channel i've literally filmed this like twice oh my eyelash i hate it okay and the first time i was just like Ew, no makeup like not everything i need some lashes and i was crying so like i can't cry looking ugly so let's work on it right all right so welcome y'all this will be a little bit different and it's got the shower and at first i was just like not gonna bring any like situation because it's like a very hard one and um i just thought to myself like i don't know if i could really pull through with like um i don't know i just didn't know if i could do it so i'm gonna do it though i'm gonna try my best to kind of <sighs> give you guys all the info and like bring you up to date with everything um a lot of you guys have been following me through so many different social platforms and i'm so excited to like continue to grow with you guys and additionally, I want to thank you guys because a lot of doors have opened because of you guys. A lot of new things are happening in my life that I couldn't do without y'all. I want to be transparent, number one. And number two, I know I'm not the only one in the world going through this or has thought about doing this or has done it. And I want to be not only like maybe like motivate someone, but also form an alliance or like even just work with each other or just like guide each other because this is a big step in life. Um, so the reason why I decided to film this today, I kind of gave you guys a, a snippet of what's going on in my life on TikTok, but a lot of you guys probably, many of you guys do follow me on most of my social hand work, like hand handling, I'm sorry, um, but some may not. So, and I'm fidgeting right here. So if you see me moving, I'm just fidgeting because I don't know why I'm nervous, but I didn't really like make a timeline of everything I want to talk about. So if I'm a little bit everywhere, I do apologize letting things flow i feel like that's the only way you can be completely real right um saw the listing and i am selling my first home and it's a, a very nerve-wracking thing i'm doing it's a very i've never done it before so it's, it's very nerve-wracking but it, not only that but it's also exciting because it's for bigger and better things in my life that i'm planning to sell and move out of state I'm not releasing too much information as to where I'm going yet because it's still in the works and I'm very big on just like manifesting and just kind of keeping certain things on the low until the ball starts rolling. As I continue on this journey, more information will be given and you guys will be on this journey with me, which I'm super excited that we get to grow together. Also, I did this because I said to myself, like, you know, everyone always thinks about what if it fails, but what if everything works out and I have this to look back on and I know it will work out because I'm not gonna let nothing fail, okay? And I get this to look at back at this and be like, that girl was so nervous and so scared. Didn't know what the H was gonna happen, but she made it happen. So I think that's another thing. <laughs> and that's like one of the biggest reasons. So a big step in my life. And um, just to give like some backstory, I did buy my house a few years back. I bought it by myself in my 20s. If you guys want to do it, you could do whatever you want. I definitely am a big believer of it's meant to be, it will be. I literally woke up one day, January 1st, 2019, to be exact, at time I want to buy a house. My mom put me on to her realtor. She's an amazing realtor. Um, she's actually helping me sell my house now. So it's like crazy how things turn full circle. And, um, you know, I got my house in two and a half months I signed and I always knew it wasn't gonna be my forever home because I just knew the area it was in it wasn't something that I wanted to be in forever but it, I didn't feel that it was gonna be a place I would call home for a while and though it only has been like three almost going on to four years at this time I will be leaving home and out of everything it is the hardest thing because not only am I leaving my home but I'm leaving my home where I was born and raised and um, it's not really hard for me because this is what I'm used to, but it's hard because I'm going to be leaving my family. And those who know me know that I have, I'm the biggest family person. Um, they are my glue and nope. <laughs> I said, nope. Mm -mm, hold on. Ooh, that was quick. That was, I caught it. But um, okay. My biggest cheerleaders 
And um, I'm blessed to have that. And I never take that for granted. I take over this opportunity because it was an amazing opportunity. It is an amazing opportunity. I get to do this. I get to start somewhere and just be a little bit more freer now, you know, and um, really work my work, you know. It's super amazing, but it's also scary, you know, like I'm still leaving home. I'm still leaving what I know. And I know that this will put me in a better space and a work and the way you guys are so amazing with me that I'm going to, I'm going to be where I need to be. Long story short. And my mom's been super supportive. Um, to a fault. I'm like, mom, don't be too supportive. No, she's always been super supportive of me. So, you know, I wanted to bring you guys on this journey with me and be very transparent because I know I'm not the only one who's ever done this. And honestly, I know people that I went to school with, like high school, who moved to different states. And it's not like, it's not a big deal, you know, but it's like, I'm doing it for the first time. So it was a big deal to me. So, um, I took time to let, you know, people near and dear know what's going on. So no one's like, wait, yo, I just saw like your house is for, what's, what the fuck? So yes it's not a surprise it's been something in the works for months now um really the last year year and some change i've been kind of like hinting at the fact that i wanted to leave the house on market it went live um you know they took pictures on saturday and like when they left and they put the for sale sign i went outside i took a picture and i was crying i was like oh my god i'm still in my house i'm like do i really want to do this and i said i do you know, change is hard. Change is different. So the sign, they put the sign down on Saturday and I was just like, I worked so hard for this, but it's material. It's material. Everything is material. And the benefits I get from just like moving away from home and just starting all over is experience that you don't get from home. And I always feel like, you know, sometimes people from different places go harder for you than your own hometown. So it's just gonna put me in a better spot in general. So I actually was being nosy and I was like talking to my best friend. I was like, I don't even know if my shit's live or whatever, like it's supposed to be live. And she looks it up, she's like, I found it. And she shows me the listing, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, it's getting real. And I didn't really cry much. And my realtor like literally reached out to me the same second. I'm like, her ear must've been buzzing. She knew we were like looking for the house and she was just like, hey, it's live. Um, so they're gonna come back to take better pictures of the house. And from that, um, we'll see what happens. I kind of want to bring you guys like live, not live, but like kind of each time there's a new like a buyer perspective, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but um, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, overwhelmed a little bit too. A lot of you guys were so, um, you guys were so amazing. Like a lot of you guys congratulated me and I thought like I was going to get like a lot of like, girl, you're stupid. Why would you do that? You're selling a house. Everyone was like, good for you. Even my neighbor, you know, she's just like, listen, if I had the opportunity like you have at your age, I would have took it. And now she's like, I regret not doing that. So everyone's like been super supportive and it's scary. I thought people would be like, I don't know why. I just like, it's something that I was ready like to fight for. Like, no, you guys don't understand. And I didn't have to. People were like, do it. Woo, the the flood of support is amazing. It's above me. It's something that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Emotions are everywhere. But I want to thank you guys so much for everything you guys have done so far. And I just want to let you know that shit is about to go 10 times harder. And shit's about to get real. And I'm about to be put in a new position where I'm going to be able to live just my life. And... You guys will see what I mean by that later on. So as we go in this roller coaster, this journey, but things are about to get good and shit's about to be real. And I just love y'all for being in this journey with me. So anyways, if you guys have not done so, please subscribe so you guys do not miss updates. I'm going to do weekly updates and weekly videos and maybe we could do some packing together or something. So love you guys. Subscribe. If you guys have not followed me, put me on Instagram. And TikTok, what are you doing? What you waiting for? Love y'all. Ciao.